Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this video link tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the pins function to help you keep things organized in your timeline. So just for this demo, I've got two pieces of stock footage in my timeline and I've also got this text above that says future focus fades in and fades out. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to swap these um, timeline clips. What I would need to do generally is click and hold this one, move it to the other side and then grab the text and get the text, slide the text along in order to that to follow my footage. Now, a better way to do that would just be to simply pin the text to the footage in the timeline that I want it to stick to. So, so what I would need to do, I need to select my text because that's what I want to pin to the part in my timeline. And then in the bottom right hand corner here next to the keyframe, I've got this little pin button. So now what you'll see, I have this little down arrow on my text within the timeline and the little pin to show that it's pinned to the piece of footage below it. So now if I grab that footage below it, the text will automatically move with it. If I want to move the text up and down the timeline, I can do that just by grabbing, grabbing the text, wait till it becomes active and then moving that up and down the timeline. And wherever I leave it, it will stay clipped to that part of text within the timeline. If I want to unpin it, select the text, select the pin again, and then this will unpin it. And you'll know because the little down arrow in the text has moved and also the little pin has moved as well. Quick tutorial, hope it's helped you out. Take care, catch you all soon.